with a senior United States senator from Kansas, Pat Roberts, is drawing a challenger from his own party. Tea Party favorite Milton Wolf makes it official. The 42-year-old radiologist from Leewood and a cousin to President Obama announces before 300 supporters at an event in Overland Park that he will challenge Roberts for the GOP nomination next year. No one should be in Congress for four decades, he argues. Wolf has appeared a number of Fox News programs, been mentioned on Rush Limbaugh's radio show, and writes a conservative political column. But, Dave Helling, does he pose a threat to Roberts or even stand a chance? Well, yes, to both questions, it's not a good chance. Probably, he Pat Roberts remains the overwhelming favorite, but he is not a 100% bet to win the nomination in his party. We're seeing Tea Party challenges to senators across the country. Pat Roberts goes into the race with certain advantages. He's got a lot of money. He's well known. He's a legendary figure in Kansas Republican politics. But he'll be 78 on Election Day. Uh, he's been in Congress since 1981. Uh, Milton Wolf makes the argument, and it may get a good hearing in the state, that Pat Roberts is part of the problem, not part of the solution, particularly with the Republican Party. So I think it's going to be spirited. Milton Wolf has a lot of money. I was at the announcement a couple of weeks ago. It was well lit. He had yep. the video. Well, we saw a little bit of the ad yeah. there. I mean, I mean this the, was a gorgeously you know, produced uh, believe me, I've campaign been to some, commercial. I've been to some challenger news conferences, which are a podium and a glass of water, and this was not that. <laughs> yes. So he obviously has some people uh, working with him who understand politics a little bit, and there is a certain amount of Tea Party, quote-unquote, Tea Party rage in the state of Kansas. We'll see how it plays out. And Senator Pat Roberts was one of the very few senators this week um, voting against the ch change there on the debt ceiling this week and uh, 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 this week one of a few senators voting against that uh, would he have made that vote if he didn't have a challenge from within his own party this week you know I don't think so Nick look how he's reacting making sure he's battening battening down the rightward uh, flank of his party making sure he, he's not vulnerable to a rightward attack voting against the debt limit uh, the, the deal that came down from Congress this week and then on top of that coming out and blasting his old buddy former governor Kathleen Sabine who's the HHS secretary in charge of Obamacare for what he calls just a, a disgraceful job at putting together the online exchanges and that kind of thing. He might be right about that, but he never would have come out and said what he said about Sebelius if not for the Wolf Challenge. And he wouldn't have voted the way he did either, I don't think, uh, on the debt ceiling limit uh, vote that came down this week either, Nick. Can I just say very quickly, one, even if Milton Wolf doesn't win, he draws Pat Roberts' attention in this race and money, money that might go to other Republican candidates in other states. That, that's the, so it's going to have an impact uh, whether or not Milton Wolf actually turns out to be the Mary. nominee. Well, and that's actually the broader context of it. I don't think Milton Wolf will make it all the way through, partly because there's going to be enough people that will rightfully question the fact that he's never run for political office, he's never held political office. That's going to be a deficit on him. But what is fascinating is that broader context of how far will he push Roberts? Roberts. And what will this dialogue be? And how much will Roberts give up what he's always stood for just to try and make it past yeah. this challenge?